Hello everyone, welcome back to my React Hooks series, where in this video we're going to take a look at Use Memo, how it works, and when you should actually use it. And if you're interested in diving into React even deeper, make sure to check out my full React course, which I'm going to link down in the description below. Have you wanted free web hosting that doesn't suck? Well, you're in luck because today's video sponsor, Atlantic.net, is giving you an entire year-long free trial of their hosting. And if you use the code KYLE when you check out, you're going to get an additional $50 of credit that you can use towards whatever you want on the hosting platform. On top of that, this hosting platform has powerful servers with great data reliability and redundancy so you know that your site is going to be there and running with the data you want it to. So make sure you use the code KYLE in the link down in the description below to get your free hosting. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name's Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Now to get started, I just have some really basic boilerplate code set up for us to test our application. I'm gonna walk through it real quick so you know exactly what we're doing. I just have a simple single component called app which has two pieces of state. One is a number, which we can control by this input over here on the right. And the second one is a Boolean for dark or light, which is toggled by this change theme button on the right side of our screen. Then what we do is we have a function which doubles our number, so just multiplies by two, but this function is very slow. If I scroll down here, you can see I just have a really long for loop that just loops doing nothing for a really long time to emulate what would happen in a really slow, long running complex function. Obviously, since this function just multiplies by two, all this code is doing is making the function really slow. And if I change this number, for example, by clicking this up arrow, you're gonna see it takes about a second, half a second for it to actually double the number. So you can see this function is quite slow to execute. Now, continuing onward, we just have a variable here, which is taking this dark Boolean and changing if we have a dark or light theme down here. And then lastly, over here, we just have the output code, which changes our number when we update here and also toggles our theme when we click this button. So that's just the basics of our code. And you may think, OK, this is fine code. It's working great. And the slowness is you know, not that bad, but it only is going to be slow when we update our number. But actually, that's incorrect thinking. If we click our change theme button, you're going to notice we have the same delay. I'm going to click it now. And you can see it takes about half a second to a second for it to actually change the actual theme. And the reason for that is because when you update state in React, it's going to re-render your entire component. So it's going to run this entire function from top to bottom, which means that this slow function gets called every single time that we render our app component. So whether we're changing the theme, whether we're actually updating the number here, or whether some other component is causing this component to re-render, you're going to be forcing it to go through that slow function over and over and over again. And this is a really big performance problem when you have these slow functions that don't really change that often. So React has a built-in way to solve this with a hook which is called use memo. So we can import this use memo hook just like this. And memo here stands for memoization, which essentially is the idea of caching a value so you don't have to recompute it every single time. So in our example, this slow function here takes an input of number, and it's always going to give us the same output every time we give it the same input. So we can cache that input value number and the output it gives us. That way, if the number doesn't change, we don't have to recalculate our slow function over and over and over again. And the easy way to use this is we just call use memo and we're going to pass it in a function. And this function is going to be the thing that we actually memoize. So this is the thing that we're caching, which in our case is going to be this slow function. We just want to make sure we return this slow function here, get the result from it. And then just like all of the other hooks that we talked about, like use effect, for example, we're going to have a list of dependencies here. And in our case, the only dependency of this is going to be our number here. Our number is the only thing that changes. And when our number changes, we need to rerun the code inside this use memo hook. But if our number doesn't change, we don't need to rerun this slow function code. So with that one simple change, let's save and see what happened to our app. It's loading over here. We can change this to, for example, one, and you can see it has a kind of delay, change it up again, it's going to have a delay. But when we click change theme, you're gonna notice this is instantaneous. I can click it as much as I want to. And that's because when we go through our code, 
We click change theme, it causes our component to re-render, so it calls this function, does all this stuff, and it gets down to use memo, and it says, well, our number is exactly the same as what it was last time, so we're not gonna recall this slow function here because we already know what the result is. It's the exact same thing as it was last time. So we're saving ourselves from having to recalculate this number with the slow function, and we only are forcing ourselves to do this when we actually update this number inside of our input here. So we're essentially only running the slow code when we have to, and not running it when we don't actually need to. Now this seems really nice, and you may think, let me just use memo everywhere. Why not just memoize everything? Like this theme styles here, why don't I memoize that based on this dark boolean variable? And the reason you don't want to memoize everything is because it does give you some performance overheads and some memory overhead. For example, this use memo function must be called every single render of your component, so you're calling an additional function, and also it's saving the value, this previous value, in some memory variable. So you're forcing your memory to get larger every time you use memo because you have to store an additional variable in memory to store that previous value. Now this isn't a huge deal, but if you start to do this everywhere in your application, especially where you don't need it, it's going to cause additional memory usage and additional performance problems when just not using it would have been better. So I highly recommend you only use memo, in this case, when you actually need the performance benefits, when the function you're calling is incredibly slow. Then use memo is great. But there's also a second use case for use memo, and that is something called referential equality. And if you aren't really familiar with value versus reference in JavaScript, I have a video on that topic. I'll link in the cards in description. But essentially what that is saying is when you try to compare two different variables in JavaScript, it's going to compare their reference in the case of objects and arrays. So for example, this theme styles here is a specific object. And if I were to duplicate this theme styles, for example, theme styles two right here, you would think that theme styles and theme style two are equal to each other, but in JavaScript, they reference different objects. They have the same values in the object, but the actual reference to the object itself is different. So these two values are actually not equal to each other, which is something really important. And as you know, inside of hooks in React, we have this array here of all of our dependencies. And when our dependencies change, it's going to rerun our hook. So let's click a quick example where we have a use effect and we want to run this use effect every single time that our theme styles here changes. So we're just gonna have a really simple console.log theme changed. And down here, inside of our dependencies, I'm gonna have our theme styles. Let's just get rid of this console down here. And of course, we need to make sure we import use effect, just like that. And now if I just really quickly inspect this page here, pull this over, go to the console, oops, console, you can see we get our theme changed being printed out. And when we change our theme, you can see it's continually printing out theme changed. But a problem you'll notice if I clear this out is when we change our number, it's also causing this theme change to be run. And the reason for that is that referential equality. What's happening is every time we run our function, we get a new theme styles object being created. And this new theme style object is not the same as the old theme styles, even though they have the exact same values in the object, they reference different places in memory. And that's really important to know. So in order to make sure that we only ever run use effect when our theme style object actually gets re-updated, we can use memo again. So what we can do is wrap this in a use memo, make sure you pass it a function, and in here, we're just going to return that object. We just indent all this properly. And in here, for our dependencies, we're just gonna put that dark variable, because that's the only thing that this object depends on. Now, if we were to rerun this, you can see changing our theme causes this to update our theme, logs it out, but when we change our number, you're gonna notice we don't actually get anything printed in our console and only when we click change theme. And the reason for this is that now we are wrapping this object inside of memorization. Essentially, if our dark variable doesn't change, we don't re-update our theme styles. So we get the exact same reference as we had the previous time we rendered our app. So now our use effect is comparing our old theme styles with our new theme styles, but they both reference the exact same object. So these are the two big use cases for use memo. The first and most obvious is when you want to make a slow function, wrap it in this use memo so that it doesn't recompute every single time you render your component. 
and it only computes when you actually need the value from that function since the inputs actually changed. The second use case, which is a little bit trickier, is this idea of referential equality. Whenever you want to make sure the reference of an object or an array is exactly the same as it was the last time you rendered, if none of the internal workings changed, you're going to want to use memo here to make sure that you only update the reference of that object whenever the actual contents of the object change, instead of updating every single time you render. And that's all there is to the use memo hook. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my full React course linked in the description to get a full overview of everything you need to know about React. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.